Welcome back to a new video in our PHP series. Today we are going to learn about form handling in PHP. How to take input from user and process it, and then display it or use it for further process. So we have learned previously about post and get methods, which are used to collect and hang, which are used to handle the information collected or submitted by a form. So let's see how to implement those, and we'll also see about the session and cookie which we have learned in the previous video also. So we'll implement these four things in today's video. Along with that, we'll learn about how to create a form and take responses. So let's see. Let's begin with it. So an HTML form is used to collect user input. The user input is most often sent to a server for processing. So you can see it's everywhere now. Everywhere to collect a response like feedback, address, email ID, password, everything, phone number. Everywhere, even surveys, we use a form. to take the uh, input from user so like customer feedback and then if you want to uh, order something then uh, address your name phone number everywhere everywhere forms are being used so how to how are they handled in php and get in form so the html form uh, form tag is used to create an html for uh, html form uh, the the form element is in container for different types of input elements such as text fields text box radio button 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 these are various type of things elements used to take uh, different types of input so let's begin with creating an html form So now we have created a basic form where we are taking a name, email uh, as an input from the user. So you can see this is a basic form which you have learned in HTML. So when we are doing a form handling, so the action attribute uh, contains the page where we will send the data in order to process the data. So here uh, we have process dot php. So process dot php will contain all the functions or all the Uh, variables in which we will store the data received from index.php that is the form so and method is uh, the post or get method so to quick recap post uh, sends a uh, sends data over to a server and then it is being processed it is not sent via url it is the secure one out of box and get sends the data over a url uh, which you will see so let's begin with get okay Oh, let's see how it works. Then, uh, as you can see here, uh, in the URL itself, name that is admin and email that is the whole email address. So, uh, input uh, that is the name or uh, input type name, the name which you have given, and the value which is given by the user all together is submitted uh, which is visible in url so it is less secure when you are dealing with passwords and aadhar number or pin uh, bank details and everything so now to access this uh, and to check the different ways to so So now, by using the post method, it is given uh, the data is uh, sent over to process.php, the page which we have not created yet, and it is not visible in the URL as it was when we were using get variables. So this is the uh, most secure one. 
now let's create a process uh, dot php page. So admin your form is submitted which is like the statement that we have we are printing is the submit button is clicked on the uh, name that is been sent over this form and this array here uh, as uh, since we know that post is a super global array so we are printing each uh, here, here you can see this name will be the the name given will be the key and the value which is given by the user will be the uh, value and in this way an associative array will be created of the data and which we are printing using the printr function. Similarly, we have uh, stored this in a variable name and email which you can later uh, use anywhere you want to uh, show the admin that he's been logged in and then use the email wherever possible you need to reflect and other. So this is the basic structure of uh, taking the data from form via a post uh, method and then using it for. So let's start with an implementation of cookies and functions. As we all know, we have discussed them in our previous video. Both of them are used to store user information, uh, user data between HTTP requests, allowing web applications to maintain a personalized user experience. They serve similar purposes but have different characteristics. Uh, in their implementation. So, in short, uh, uh, so session uh, stores user information. A session is a server-side mechanism for storing and managing user data. It typically involves uh, using a unique session ID and they are available until we don't close the browser that the session is, doesn't destroy. So, let's see the implementation quickly. Uh, we have a uh, view session start function which starts the session, enables the session to store the data. Then name, we have an admin, then age, and then it is simply displaying hello and the session name. And then it is saying this. This value is stored until and until the session is not destroyed or the browser is not closed. Hello admin. Now let's uh, see your implementation about cookies. So cookies is a file that web browser stores in a client computer. And then we, as you can see, value, expiry, uh, path, domain, secure, 
एन एच टी की पी ओनली दीज आर बट नेम दीज आर द ऑप्शन बट द नेम रिमेन द इम्पॉर्टेंट वन रेस्ट ऑफ दैम आर ऑप्शन सो लेट गिव So here we have created a cookie, uh, set cookie name and then value and time. So time function uh, gives us the current time and then thirty so thirty three thousand and ten is one hour. So this cookie will be deleted after one hour and it echoes basically the value. So it will. So admin which is the session creates and admin is the value which uh, which is the cookie set by us. So in this way you can have cookie and session implemented in your project. Uh, you can find other attributes and other working around this on internet. So make sure to practice more and more about it. So with this, uh, we conclude about form handling in PHP. Uh, later we will also learn about the security and the security concerns about the form that is taking the input in a proper way without ha uh, all the legal activities which will happen. How to avoid them? How to restrict a form entry? and then validate a form all this will be we learn in the we will be learning in the photo course but this is the way uh, to use a uh, get and post method while uh, handling a form input uh, in ps so <laughs>